Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Santa Burke from bangthebook.com coming to you with a look at game 113 114, the American Athletic Conference Championship game between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Memphis Tigers. Memphis, a nine and a half point favorite in this one, total of 57 and a half. Over at bangthebook.com, very proud of all the work being done by our talented cast of writers. Danny Vorgs' updated NFL model projections and power ratings can be seen every week on Thursday morning. My college football power ratings updated weekly as well. And I'll have a big update for you here for the bowl season once we know what those matchups are going to be. Daily NBA and college basketball previews. Daily NHL from Parker Michaels. And, of course, Monday through Friday, Bang the Book Radio, which you can listen to right here on our Bang the Book YouTube page, or you can find us wherever you stream or download your podcast content. So a fascinating game here between Cincinnati and Memphis. These two teams just played last week in the regular season finale. Memphis needed a win to get into this game or a Navy loss, which they weren't going to get. They do get that win. They fail to cover the 14-point spread. This line winds up coming out here at 9.5. Again, total of 57.5. Not to say that Cincinnati didn't want to win last week because they still had a shot at that New Year's Six bowl bid for the top group of five team. But they're more worried about winning this conference here. And in fact, last week, they don't use quarterback Desmond Ritter. They wind up going with quarterback Ben Bryant, something I talked about being a possibility here on the video preview that I did for that game. At that point in time, the line was Memphis minus 11 and a half, wound up going up to 14 and even touching 14 and a half in some places. Uh, Memphis not really ever in a position to cover that number. Ben Bryant played well, and Memphis probably held some things back in that playbook as well especially after they got off to a nice start, ran back the opening kick for a touchdown, wound up scoring some points there in the first quarter. So they probably held some things back a little bit, a 34-24 final there. In that one, did stay under the total of 60. We see the adjusted number here at 57 and a half. Before that Memphis game last week, and I'm not going to give Cincinnati a pass, and in fact, I think Cincinnati played pretty well in that game last week, all things considered. But I talked about this in last week's video that Cincinnati had been outgained by six of their previous seven opponents and won all six of those games. They were outgained again last week, albeit pretty small, by Memphis. But I had questions about this Cincinnati team coming into this portion of the season, and they really weren't answered last week. Memphis wound up moving the football very effectively, 6.75 yards per play. Cincinnati only 5.3 yards per play in last week's game. And I kind of wondered... You know, is this because Cincinnati is not moving the football as much with Desmond Ritter? Has this defense kind of slacked off a little bit? It's really both, but I think it's important to point out that Cincinnati's defense did allow 5.62 yards per play in November. That was the most of any month this season. And, of course, keep in mind, they did play Ohio State back in September. So, you know, it's one of those things for Cincinnati where a little bit worried about this defense. Maybe there's some attrition. Uh, you know, maybe teams are just scheming a little bit better against them now that it's the second year of Luke Fickle. Uh, but, you know, again, it's one of those things where for Cincinnati, I kind of worry about their defense, and I worry about their defense here in this rematch. Memphis, the more explosive team, eighth in yards per play in the country, 7.07. Cincinnati, 88th at 5.51. Cincinnati, plus 0.32 yards per play, Memphis plus 1.91 yards per play in terms of differential between offense and defense. So we've seen a lot of sharp money come in early in the weeks on Memphis. A big reason for that because they've got this big yards per play differential. And when you consider that, you consider home field advantage here. This line is too low. My number is 11.5 for Memphis. 9.5 is too low. This is too big of an adjustment. Cincinnati is a good team, a great story. But, man, are they asking a lot of this defense here this week. I don't think they can score with Memphis. I do think these are two very well-coached teams. I think both of them will be very prepared and will make the necessary adjustments. But Memphis is quietly 31st in yards per play allowed on the season. And after last week, outgaining Cincinnati by 1.45 yards per play, Memphis is now better than Cincinnati in yards per play allowed on the season here. I think Desmond, or Desmond Ritter is already confirmed to start. Are they better off with Ben Bryant? Maybe. It probably gives them a little bit more of a passing dynamic. So 
I think going with Ritter, I know he's been your guy all year. Maybe he is healthier after the week off, but it's Memphis for me here, man. Memphis minus 9.5. Lean the under 57.5 because Cincinnati can limit some explosive plays. They move very slowly when they get the football. I just don't think they're going to have it enough, and I don't think that they can keep pace with this Memphis Tigers offense. Memphis, again, with that motivation to get to that group of six bowl game. Cincinnati with the motivation to win the conference, but Boise State probably gets that opportunity on New Year's Day over Cincinnati. So, again, I don't think motivation a big factor here, but Memphis certainly knows what's at stake with the opportunity to play on New Year's Day. So give me Memphis here, minus 9.5 in the AAC championship game. I'm Adam Burke for bangthebook.com.